In this video, I'm going to show you something that I think is really, really cool. How many times have you been out flying your DJI drone, for example, gone on the DJI Fly app, played it back and thought, this would look so much better if I could visualize all of this in 3D on a real world map where I can see all of the path that I flew, including all the elevation changes. Well, now you can because I'm going to show you exactly how you can import your flight data from your DJI drone into Google Earth to see exactly that as a full 3D visualization. And I just think that's going to be pretty cool to be able to see. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of you will be aware that when we are out flying our drones, a huge amount of data as to our flight parameters have actually been recorded in the drone's black box. Yes, in a similar way to an actual aircraft without the physical black box, what it can do is record to the drone's internal software, which can then be recovered in the event of an accident or a mishap, meaning we can send the full flight data to DJI for them to investigate in the event of any claim. And we can see a small snippet of this data when we replay our flight back using the DJI Fly app. We of course have our location, our 2D flight path, and even our stick input controls. But of course there is just so much more data that is actually being gathered and we're going to access it. So in order to view our flight in 3D on Google Earth, we need to download our data in a file type that is recognized by Google Earth for it to to work. Now that file type is called a KML file. That might not mean much to you, but essentially it's the type of file that contains all the geographical data that we need to create our 3D visualization. The problem is we cannot actually download our data as a KML file using the DJI Fly app or DJI Assistant 2, but not to worry because I'm going to show you exactly where to get it. So we're going to do a simple web search for a website called Air Data UAV. Now, many seasoned drone flyers are going to know all about Air Data UAV, and indeed I've covered it on my channel previously, but if you're new to drones and you've not seen this website before, prepare to be completely amazed. Now, if you have the Air Data app already and you do know about it, you're going to know that it is one of the best drone weather apps, which is ideal for showing all the parameters for you to decide whether it is safe to fly or not, which of course is a huge benefit. However, when we actually open up Air Data UAV on the web, it just absolutely transforms the amount of data we are going to be able to access. So firstly, we're going to need to create a free account to Air Data UAV, and that will allow us to achieve what we want in this video. Now you can pay monthly uh, to increase the amount of flights that are active that you can actually access or some additional features, but not to worry, the completely free version will allow us to achieve what we're going to set out to do in this video. Now what Air Data UAV can actually do is it syncs with with your DJI account to pull all of your flight data from all of your flights across all of your drones and puts them all in one place for you to be able to access at any point on the web. And let's just take a look at the huge amount of data that is actually shown. We can see our map of where we was flying. We can even see our takeoff battery versus our landing battery, how long we were flying for. We can pull up our own pilot information. We can even see what DJI fly app version we was using, what firmware we was using. We can see our battery cell readings, making sure our battery is in very good condition. We can check our signal maps and GPS maps, making sure that we had full and good connection at all times during our flights. We can even see in-flight weather and wind direction. And of course, as I've already mentioned, the benefit about this is if you have multiple drones, basically because it syncs all of your flight logs, whether it's the DJI Neo, whether it's the DJI Flip, or the DJI Mini 4 Pro, just by selecting between all of your different flights, of course, you can just pull up all the information that was recorded in the drone's black box, but not just applicable to DJI, you can access and see all of it as well. Now, this video isn't an advert for Air Data UAV. The reason why I've had to show the features and benefits of this application is quite simply because they allow us to download our flight data 
data in that magic KML file I mentioned earlier, which we need to be able to import our flight data into Google Earth. So this flight that I've selected is one of my primary flights I did when I was creating my DJI Flip review. And as you can see there, we've got our different options, but we're going to select the download as a KML file that is now nicely saved on our machine. So now we've downloaded our KML file, we're on to the next step. We're now going to do a web search for Google Earth and open that up. What we're then going to do is click new project, then import a KML file from my local device. Select the file we have just downloaded from Air Data UAV and voila. Now as Google Earth does a nice little flying, we can see our flight on the map, which of course is okay in 2D, but I promise you we're in 3D. So if we click this 3D button right here, now we have the ability to see absolutely everything that that drone did during this flight. We can then zoom in, we can zoom out, we can then tilt so we can get underneath our flight path or indeed above it and we can rotate our map to see absolutely everything as to where that drone flew on our flight in full 3D and even looking at this bit right here where the drone suddenly shoots up all the way to 120 meters in the sky where I was doing my wind test to see if the DJI flip would actually get blown off course or not then Obviously, as you can see, that just looks so cool on the map. You can even see where I performed my quick shot circle around this building, comparing obviously the flight path to what you can actually see the drone recorded is just absolutely so, so cool. Now this is absolutely fantastic for being able to visualize exactly where your drone flew on that flight and just get a general idea of your piloting skills and of course, you know, see your relative position on an actual 3D scale as opposed to just that top down shot, which of course doesn't really give us much perspective. I really enjoy the fact that you can see the elevation changes as we are flying along with our drone as well. Really, really top notch stuff. And I just thought it's something that would be quite interesting for you guys to see. And what makes it even better is if we just click back onto the earth, we can actually select our project, click share, change it to anybody with the link, copy the link, and then we can send that flight to basically anybody that can then click the link and see exactly what you flew on that flight for themselves. So hopefully you really enjoyed seeing exactly how you can view your flight in 3D on Google Earth, adding just so much of a different perspective to your flight information. And of course, seeing some of the benefits of Air Data UAV as well. And don't forget, if you have done the flight and you have clicked share, please do post it in the video comments so I can go check it out and see exactly what you did on your flight. So if you found this video useful, please do give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more drone related content just like this. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.